there's probably far more noise about ambush marketing than actual real examples or case studies in the Olympics. Hmm. Uh, the, the reason in the Olympics that there's actually so little ambush marketing is because the IOC has worked very hard to build a fortress around the rights package by consolidating all of the rights. So as a top sponsor, you're the sponsor of the IOC, of the games, and of every single Olympic team. That's not true in, in the World Cup. In the World Cup, you can be the sponsor of the World Cup and then have different sponsors being sponsors of the team or individual athletes, and you have a far more competitive situation. Um, I would say it's one of the, the, the legacies that I was maybe most proud about at the IOC was building an overall integrated strategy to, first of all, try and prevent there being any loopholes for ambush marketing to come in. And that went right down to when a city is bidding for the games eight years before they're selected, taking total control over all outdoor advertising in the city, all outdoor advertising at the airport. Mm -hmm. So you have a complete integrated plan, which I don't think any other sports event in the world comes close to pulling together. Uh, so we work very hard on the, the, the legal structures, on integrating it, uh, making sure that tickets couldn't be sold and used as promotions or premiums. Um, if by chance somebody um, did undertake, let's leave the siren. If, if by chance somebody did create a... Um, an ambush marketing activity. Um, we were not shy at being very public at explaining to the public that they were being deceived. Mm. That we would stage press conferences with athletes cutting up American Express cards and other incidents where the PR teams at these big companies basically said, you really don't want to take the Olympics on because they are ruthless at how they will respond and often won't, wait, won't waste time for the lawyers to react. I was far more effective at going straight for the public relations. And it was interesting to see how quickly the CEO would plead for peace and immediately cut down the campaign. Mm. 